Battle Brain! Richard Scary. How many stars are there, Mom? No one's ever been able to count all of them, Billy. I bet I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Think you can find the dog star? Huh? Dog star? You can't miss it. It's the brightest star in the sky. Okay. Let's see. Gee, Mom, they're all pretty bright. Um, uh, is it there? Billy, can't you see that's a street lamp? Um... You're having trouble seeing, aren't you, dear? No, I'm not. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Billy, watch out for that hose! What? I think you need glasses. Glasses? We'll have your eyes checked tomorrow after school. I don't need glasses. Oh. stars last night? Did I? They were so bright, I had to wear my sunglasses. I saw the Big Dipper. Um, did anyone see the dog star? Dog star? Wow! No, I didn't. Neither did I. Shucks! Do you think there's a cat star up there, too? Yeah! And they spend all day chasing each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miss Honey. I didn't see you. I didn't see her. See her. Can you tell me how many more green apples there are than red apples? Does anyone know the answer? Billy Dog. Uh, green? Red? Um, um... All you have to do is count them, Billy. Uh, three? No, four. Um... How about you, Cassie? Sure. It's easy to see that there are three more green apples. <sighs> oh, 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 I got it! Come on, over here! Over here! Come on! Go on. Shoot for a goal! Right. Shoot for a goal! Run! Right here! Come on! Huh? Huh? Hmm. It's okay, Billy. We can't get every ball. I can't believe I missed it. Come now, Billy. It's only a game. I'm a terrible player. Terrible. Not at all, son. Do you know what I think? You had trouble seeing the ball, didn't you? Oh, um, yeah, well, um... It's because, um... Uh... Well, it's my feeling that you need glasses. No! No glasses for me! Ah, me. The poor 
poor lad. But, Mom, I don't want to wear glasses. Now, Billy, we're having your eyes checked, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> glasses are a tool, Billy, like my telescope. Tool? Just imagine, if I didn't have my telescope, I wouldn't be able to work. I simply wouldn't be able to see the planets and the stars. And what letter do you see, Billy? Um, B? Let's try this. Wow! It's an E! I think we've solved the problem. Now we just have to decide what style of glasses you want. And there's a C, G, P, L, S? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know the answer? There are five more red apples and green apples, Miss Honey. Very good, Billy. Kick it here! I'm ready this time! It's easy when you can see the ball. I think the other team's going to wish you'd leave your glasses at home. Never! I love my new glasses. Say, there's something I like about them, too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need a new pair of glasses. Imagine that. I can't get rid of the dirt specks on this piece of paper. Those aren't dirt specks. They're wood specks. Well, paper is made from wood, and wood, it comes from trees. So the trees have to be harvested. Timber means step back, please. The trees are brought to the paper mill by water or on truck. And then they're cut into smaller logs. How do they do it? With great big sun. They take off the bark and grind them in the mulch, and the mulch is called wood pulp. Then the pulp is washed and beaten in the paste, and the clean white paste is all sugar. Now it sticks together in the sheet. Then it's rolled and squashed and dried. Then it's rolled and dried and squashed some more into big rolls of paper cut to any size. Like drawing paper or newspaper. Or the kind of paper you find in a book or a magazine. Whoops, then I need another piece of paper. Uh, I mean wood. <laughs> Today, we're going back 400 years to London, England, when a man named William Shakespeare wrote all kinds of wonderful stories called plays, which were performed here at the famous Globe Theatre. Shakespeare wrote sad tragedies and funny comedies. <laughs> That's Cordelia Cat. She's the stage manager. Without her in charge, the show would never go on. Pick up costumes, armor and shields, camera... Cordelia would really like to be an actress, but she can't. Because in those days, girls weren't allowed to act in plays. All their roles were played by boys. Here they are, Cordelia. All the new costumes. Wonderful! Oh, the princess's dress is lovely. Cordelia, is it true that there's a new play by William Shakespeare tomorrow? Oh, yes. A terribly, terribly romantic <laughs> tragedy. Oh, Cordelia, you should be on the stage. I would love to be. <laughs> but alas, no one will let me. Now, where is my new assistant? He was supposed to be here today. Ah, the costumes, they have arrived. Here you are, Francis. 
Your prince's costume for the first act. A prince? Just a prince, but I always play kings. Well, I'm sorry, Francis. William Shakespeare wants you to play a prince this time. And Timothy, here's your dress. You'll be playing the princess. A princess? Again? Why can't I ever play a soldier or a... Oh! Oh! Excuse me, Mr. Shakespeare. Excuse me? Dear Cordelia, our actors, they are not happy with their role. Don't worry about them, Mr. Shakespeare. They're always like that before a new play. Just a bit nervous and... Not as nervous as I. Cordelia, do you think the audience will like this play? I haven't made it too sad. Oh, no, Mr. Shakespeare. It's, it's sad, but poetic and... and... <sighs> Oh, dear. Uh, a thousand pardons, my lady. Uh, my name is Polonius Pig, and, and I am... Uh... Oh, just in time. My new assistant stage manager. Excuse us, Mr. Shakespeare, but we have a lot of work to do on your play. Oh, my. Uh, I, I have one little question. Uh, just what does an assistant stage manager do? We have to make sure that all the scenery is in place. Oops. That the actors know their lines. To be or... Um, Not to be. Not to be. <laughs> and that all the stage trap doors are set. What are these for? In William Shakespeare's plays, there's almost always a ghost. And this is where they come out. A ghost? like the opening of a new play, Polonius. Oh, uh, my. Cordelia, Timothy's sick. He can't play the princess. Nonsense. Timothy must go on. Ah, my entrance. We can't force Timothy on stage if he's sick. I'm the only one who knows all the princess's lines. Today, you are the stage manager. I know you can do it. Oh, my! Oh, my fair princess Cordelia. Cordelia? Oh, sweet prince. Hear you not tonight's soft music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my! Ooh, the, the ghost! ghost. The, the ghost! ghost. Ahem, the ghost! The ghost! <laughs> the, the, uh, the ghost. Um, oh, uh, he's over there! I'm sorry, Cordelia. I had a few little problems. Little problems? It was a disaster! They're still laughing at me. My first time on stage and I was awful. Oh, no, Cordelia. I thought you were very good. Oh, look. Uh, it's Mr. William Shakespeare. He must be furious. My fair Cordelia, you were wonderful. I've never heard an audience laugh so much at one of my plays. You've turned it from a tragedy to a brilliant comedy. We'll have to change the title. We'll call it A Comedy of Errors. Thank you very much, Mr. Shakespeare. But I could never have done it without my brilliant stage manager, Polonius Pig. So, Cordelia. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Say, this old swing set will be great in the backyard. Wow! Then we'll have our very own playground. Come on, we're gonna go play at the playground, slide on a slide and have some fun. Gonna go down with the grown-up, we'll keep an eye on everyone. When we're climbing up the ladder, we wait 
our turn when we're in line. This is the way we play at the plate, having a real good time. This is the way we play at the plate, having a real good time. Sit down, feet first, so we'll be sipping down the slide. We we'll wait until our friends get off real fast along the ride. We'll give each other lots of space and room to run around. And we'll keep the sun in the sandbox down at the playground. Swinging on swings, but not too high. We hold on tight when we reach the sky. This is the way we play at the playground, having a real good time. On second thought, maybe it'll be safer if you use the one in the park. Top Hat Fox's Traveling Circus, where you will see incredible feats of daring. Behold, the tremendous tumbling trio! Yay! I wish I could do that. Me too. I could do that. And the flying Berlanders! The most fearless trophies artists in the whole world! Oh, yeah! Me, the circus would be the best thing in the whole world! Thanks for coming! We hope you enjoyed the show! How did you kids like the circus? It, it was fantastic! I love the clowns! What about you, Loli? You betcha! Ooh, I've always dreamed about joining the circus. Hmm, he'd be great in my circus. Welcome to Huckle Cat's Family Circus. And now for our main attraction, Lily the Wonder Worm. Hooray! <laughs> wow, look at him go. He really is a Wonder Worm! Wow! There he is again! Hooray for Lolly! <laughs> Bravo! That was very impressive, Lolly. No, no, no! That was extra extraordinary! Gee, thanks! Aren't you Mr. Top Hat from the circus? I certainly am. What's your name, son? Lowly. Lowly Worm. <laughs> well, we'll have to do something about that. How would you like to join the circus, son? Would I ever? Wow, Lowly, that's fantastic. Mom, Lowly's going to be a circus star. Joining the circus is a big decision. Um, perhaps we should take some time and think it over. What's there to think about? This is a dream come true. Who wouldn't leap at the chance to perform in a real circus? Louie's right. He just has to do it. Come on, son. I want you to meet your new family. Hey, we're Louie's family. Over here is the strongest rhino on Earth. He sure is. And this is Miss Puss, the world-famous contortionist. She can bend into any shape. Amazing. Well, it's showtime. Ready for your big debut, son? Uh, ready. Does Lowly really have a new family? We'll always be Lowly's family. And now, I am pleased to present the one and only, Louie Worm! Louie Worm? Yeah! Louie Wooly, it's 
it's me, Huckle. Hi, Huckle. Do you want my autograph? Come on, Louie. It's time to celebrate your first show. Oh, great. I don't want your autograph, Louie. I just want you to come home. Hey there, Louie. Can you give us a hand? But, but, but I don't have any hands. What's going on? Why are you packing up? Our show's over in Busytown. We're due in Pleasantville tomorrow evening. That's over 300 miles away. 300 miles away? But how will I get home to my family? We're your new family, Louie. And the circus is your new home. We won't be back in Busytown until next year. Don't just stand there, Louie. Give us a hand. But I don't want a new family or a new home. Daddy, what did the ringmaster call Loli Louie? Oh, that's just a stage name. All stars are given special names, dear. Well, his new name may be Louie, but mine's lonely from now on if he doesn't come back. Loli! What are you doing here? Well, I thought it over and I decided there's no better place to be a star than in your very own family. Oh, oh we're so really sure you're really going to come back. Thank you. Thank you.